Hey, it's Mike from DitchingSuburbia.com. Ditching Suburbia is for common families creating uncommon lives. Uh, we help families find simpler living, richer education, closer family, and uncommon adventure. So we realize we've been in this trailer for two years and we've never really done a video tour. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, we're standing in the main living area. So the first thing to point out is for us tall people, um, I'm 6'3", you've got over an 8-foot ceiling here in the middle, which gives you room for a ceiling fan. So it just makes it feel really kind of livable. Uh, travel trailers that we toured had really close ceilings and you just kind of felt closed in. So a nice open living area, which we like. Um, the biggest change we've made to this trailer is we, we pulled out a love seat and then there was a freestanding table and chairs here. And the love seat just wasn't comfortable and the table of chairs was just not big enough um, for our four adult sized bodies. So we pulled all that out and these are just Ikea Poang chairs. They're light, they're pretty inexpensive and they're really comfortable. They make great RV furniture for that reason. So we can kind of reconfigure them as needed. Uh, when we're going down the road, these two get flipped and put in the slide, then the whole slide comes in. We change them up for movies, we change them up for company, so they're, they're nice and flexible that way. Uh, so to the chairs, we've added our magic little um, combination coffee table, footstool, extra seating, step stool. We almost want to like market those for our readers because it's so, so useful. And then we also added, this is just a piano bench. It was just the right size and shape. Uh, we get a little bit of storage inside the piano bench and it makes extra seating as well. So challenges with, uh, with this unit are uh, cabinetry. Um, so these cabinets, the inter kind of the entertainment center, it's all based off of a very shallow flat screen TV. So the cabinets are all very shallow. And I've just, I've never felt like we've really found an effective use for this storage space. It always feels a little mishmash to me. And the glass too, you kind of see your mess behind the glass and I prefer not to. Uh, so that's one challenge. Uh, the other is, this was a lightweight trailer, so none of these cabinets came with shelves. So I had to build shelves in all of these units uh, just to make the space more effective. And then the last challenge is the pantry. Uh, a lot of pantry space in this unit, but it's kind of the wrong size and shape. It's very deep and, and narrow. So it's a constant organizational puzzle, and I'm usually the one that has to come get stuff out of the back of this shelf because I'm the only one tall enough to reach back there. Uh, internet gear, the trailer came, and this was set up to put your satellite dish and satellite receiver in because that unit isn't deep enough. So power is up there and cables up there, so it does make a great place for all the internet gear to sit, backup drives and routers and all that. It's nice and up and out of the way. Uh, I think that about covers it for the main living area.